Hey guys, welcome back. Marish here and I'm gonna explain why you see Poo Poo Factory here. There has been an upda update. I'm a little bit late, but Tropico 6 after last update was in December. Now we have update number 13 and if we pay attention and we see there's a title saying uh, Esparcidor de Ester Sol. I don't know what it means. Anyways, version point 13 is here and let's go through patch notes because we'll back we'll be back to poo poo factory because oh my god it is almost nice <laughs> so what we have in update is blah 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 introduction text nobody cares about that but new feature is added new building and it's called manure spreader I don't know, I haven't encountered the word manure in my life previously, so <clears throat> yeah, sorry. That's why I call it Poo Poo Factory. So yeah, uh, it counters soil degradation for ranches and plantations in proximity. So quite simple, but there's more because you need actual poo poos to use. So ranches now can use, <clears throat> uh, can, can produce this manure to use so yeah th this is the new principle and I will explain why I think it's awesome uh, but before that there there's one more thing they added this is a flop house uh, that is uh, yeah provides for the poor in World War era kind of cool and three maps I actually built one of them but this this is not the one uh, I used in the background and there's also improvements so multiplayer games now support auto saves caribbean skies that's the previous update that came out in december of 16th and two days later there was a quick fix but so you can see that's that's quite some time after after that release so once selected once selected the cargo airport now displays all configured roads and uh, cargo airport now displays a warning when transportation loop has been configured everything around the previous upgrade and if you see the bug fixes there are quite more um, gaining achievements for completed maps has been improved and more reliable now fix the issue to let uh, corrupted save games if the player destroyed the pharmaceutical company in the work mode powerful placebos so yeah so quite specific fixed an issue where banks would not generate calculated income in the work mode private banking fixed an issue where market manipulation rate and the cyber operation counters was not working correctly if player has built private co as well so some specific scenarios where something was not happening as you can see now it works fixed an issue where the fish farms would not display fish as they're produced good after loading save game, even though they were producing shellfish. Uh, fixed an issue where destroyed tunnels could not be rebuilt. Tunnels can now longer be damaged, but they can still be destroyed. Fixed and misleading. Res, res, misleading date in Almanac after winning the election. Okay. <laughs> Another word I cannot, cannot pronounce. After using a martial law edict, an incorrect election date was shown in Almanac. The election date has been fixed. <laughs> fixed an effect of last election speech being applied for subsequent elections when explicitly choosing to hold early elections. Oh my god, they specifically choose so long and, uh, and, and complex sentences, so they just to bug me. I know they did it just for me. Fixed an a palace configuration that prevented roads to be built near palace. Okay. Fixed the roads that could not be demolished in pause mode if built on top of previously demolished buildings. Okay. And there's a bunch for multiplayer, so fixed an issue where in which players were unable to delete tunnels after relocating buildings uh, when multiplayers within multiplayer sessions the in-game user interface will now stay in correct position 
<clears throat> then specifically for Caribbean Skies multiplier, fixed an issue where cargo airports could be used to steal goods from other players. Sounds good. <laughs> fixed an issue where cargo airports change names after loading the save game. And then just Caribbean Sky up the, uh, fixes. I, I will just remind you that four months passed and only now Caribbean Skies are being fixed. So fix an issue <clears throat> where the fertilizer bomb could not be used when the player is in debt. Fix several graphical and placement glitches. Drone to home deliveries zeppelins now offer more time to load goods before leaving the station. Uh, fixed an issue where modernizing ranches set drone roads to inactive. And fixed an issue where the visual speaker progress could be lost. And of course more. Caribbean Sky's mission preventing Armageddon to prevent blockers in the quest. Needle in haystack, players are now asked if they already have Cyber Operations Center or other building before one gets built. Okay, and the quest Asteroid Defense can now be replayed, allowing the player to increase the time before the Asteroid arrives. Oh yeah, I remember that. That that was not cool. Fix several crashes and fix them a couple of localization and text display issues. And that's not all. This update came early ap April, and there is also a released 13.1 version hotfix. Even more. Um, it has been released for PC and PlayStation, of course, and Xbox version is still coming out probably any time now arrives and all the fixes are below so PlayStation 4 and 5 fixed stuttering issue when building roads prevent flap house to be buildable in a mission shackland as intended by the mission design uh, fixed an issue which prevent enabling DLC content in regular missions when using controller and again Caribbean sky still being fixed fixing missing battery plan research and one last is fixed a couple of issues that resulted in crashes cool so that's that's oh seriously oh my god why nvidia you keep crashing my awesome face but yeah i'm i'm here should be fine that uh, that's that's the patch notes and let's jump quickly in the game i will show you what what's this new poopoo factory manure spreader so this is a building and i will need I, I need to just point out as far as i remember probably one of the first um tropicals there was no um fertility but in general all tropicals had had the point where you can choose between uh, monoculture, where it degrades the fertility, or then you need to choose multiculture, which is trade-off, what, 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 what not, what not. So it took 20 years. First Tropico came out 20 years ago, and only now we have something that kind of, because we have ranchers and, and, and there's obviously this manure, kind of logically, but only now we have a building that prevents um, this this fertility going down. And I just wanted to test how it works. This is just random map generated. As you can see, I have all sugar plants, doesn't matter. And yes, it works kind of awesome. I need to point out that, first of all, I had one, two, three, quite a lot of... Um, plantations in the zone and it does not work like that that if the building is in the zone then basically that's it it's it's being just delivered it works a little bit differently it works like a zone and to see precisely so far i found okay hard to explain okay i know i know i know i know i know, I know the way how to explain if you take a look for example specifically on a sugar this is originally the fertility for specific uh, crop, right? Because if you switch the corn, for example, you cannot change 
this fertility. If here local value is zero, it will be always zero. But what can be done is, for example, this is the area where everything is green, it degrades by time and you can bring it back up to the same value it was before. Never a ball, but to the same level. And that's where the zoning uh, begins, because you see, this is green, but you don't know if this is basically yellow, because it was yellow before, or it can be improved to green. You don't know that information. That's pretty hard to understand, because there is no total fertility. As far as I remember, let me quickly check. Oh, soil degradation. Yes, there is. So the soil degradation is the one that you're looking for where it's basically combination of everything. And you can see there's, I, I, I commenced another test and the zone, as you can see, it's brighter. Another way you can just pick up this, this new building and this automatically shows the zoning. And you can see this is a bit brighter. So yes, one more spreader needs to be added here. Despite the fact I literally have two of them and still it somehow weirdly makes this, yeah. Well, one more is needed, at least one more. And if you're thinking about how this, this manure spreader works, it's quite easy, three people workplace, upgrades can be, they are not locked by anything, you can upgrade right away, increasing quality and, and manure, amount of manure you can have. And then you need, a ranch, for example, um, any ranch can be used. Cattle ranch, I build a pig ranch, a crocodile. Yeah, even crocodiles. Even crocodiles produce manure. If you select this uh, pasture prohibition work mode, so in human exploit, it does not produce, it only produces what it does. Um, tells you and if you use the pasture prohibition then it's an additional bonus you can see the ranch gains uh, stock of manure and it's automatically produced and there's one more if you use cattle ranch you can use human exploit because there is a special manure fertilizer that when it's built they still basically the cattle ranch when it's upgraded it will be always whatever work mode you have producing manure. So there's no reason, well, this, besides the fact that still to uh, decrease fertility, to not decrease fertility, you need this perturbation used. Otherwise, uh, you need to build another manure right here, which now begs to the question, I don't have the answer, is it worth making, basically what it means, you make um, this this manure decrease the quality of fertilizer then you use manure to uh, manure to get it back up so kind of endless cycle which kind of makes sense but how I did it in my opinion I use pasture this pasture prohibition because it's only 15% it's not as bad as 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 plantations because for plantations it is literally 40% decrease if you have one culture, you need different cultures, but I need sugar, I don't need anything else. So yeah, that's that. And then, yeah, as I explained by the zoning, I had to get more of uh, these manure spreaders because one was not doing the job. So I introduced, well, I, I tried to test how many of them I need. For example, here you can see I have one spreader then added second one it was not enough so here uh, let's try to take a look so the gradation and it's still not there yeah and there's um sorry there's one more work mode I've, there's absolutely no reason to use it because one is um widespread it basically works in huge area if you use this concentrated look at look at the size someone really doesn't understand how the game works because this is literally not worth making this is uh, I, I will remind you 
that it will be hard. <laughs> I will remind you that this size, the whole area is calculated to two times P squared. Anyways, the, the, the reasoning is not the reasoning, but the calculation is simple. The bigger the square may is, it multiplies way higher the, the area it covers. So basically, even if you split <coughs> the radius by two, the, this areas uh, area coverage is way bigger because it's a circle. It's I'm explaining like a moron because it's really hard <coughs> and then not my native language, but you get the idea. So someone who made the decision to, to, to have this um, effect, a reduced area of 30% really doesn't know uh, the geometry and how it works. So it's, this is really, I think it will be balanced because there's no point of having this, this stuff and regeneration is increased by 20%. Yeah, not 20, but 200%. It still doesn't, it doesn't cover one, one uh, plantation. You, you, pointless. Anyways, this is it. This is the reason we are having uh, this, this lengthy explanation because I don't know, the testing itself, it's cool that in the game we have a logic that works, well, fixes the fertility problem, otherwise there was absolutely no no reason, no, no way to, in long term to work with uh, monoculture, it was always degrading the soil, absolute garbage, so now at least there's actual a choice, because you can have countering the the me me mechanism against the soil. All right, I don't need to explain anymore. Jump in the game, take a look. Now the plantations can work in, in, in other mode as well. So in total, it will be efficiently, efficiency higher than, than, than minus 40%, okay? And that's it. We'll see if those guys come up with something new. After a few months, they always release some new big update with something new and cool. And another nice thing, this is not a DLC, you don't need to purchase it separately. It is in a game, it's base game expansion, let's call it. So, thanks for that, Calypso, I guess. And we will meet the next videos. Cheers and goodbye.